to the Lab Preschool Online Experience. Guess what? It's a new month! And every new month, we have a new theme for you guys. This month's theme is called How To. And we're learning all about how to do different things, but most importantly, how to live like Jesus. Now, I was thinking about how to do things, and I decided how to Google being cool. And I found the perfect way to be cool. So I'm gonna try it out right here with you guys watching. Are you ready? All right, step number one in how to be cool is have colorful hair. <laughs> Perfect, check. Step two in how to be cool, have a fancy hat, check. Step three, you have to have a lot of shiny, shiny stickers. And I would assume you would just put them on your face, right? Because that's where stickers go. Perfect, now step three, sunglasses, of course. And the final, most important step, fancy lipstick. Oh, I can't even believe how cool I must look right now. Are you guys ready? Maybe a little on the cheeks. Ha! I must look amazing! I have a mirror here. Time to see how cool I am. Ah! Oh dear, well this did not go as uh, planned. Uh, one moment, kids, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm all better now. I must say, that wasn't my best idea I've ever had. I think there's probably better ways to look cool than that, especially when you get paint in your mouth. Ugh. Well, anyway, today we're gonna hear about a time where Jesus taught us how to do something even cooler than wearing a hat or having fancy hair. He taught us how to be the salt and the light of the world. Now, what does that mean? Well, that's a really good question. Why don't we watch our video and see if it helps us understand? I'll see you here real soon. birthdays today and I want to make him the most awesome horrific card ever! You want to help? Great! Let's do this! Here are the steps for making an awesome horrific card. Step 1. Get a single piece of construction paper. Like this one! It can be any color, but it would be awesome horrific if it was the favorite color of the person you're giving your card to. Step 2. Gather your decorating supplies. Be careful. If you want to use scissors, be sure to ask a grown-up. Mom, can I use the scissors? Oh, and the glue. I promise not to put any in my hair. Step three, find a place to work. The kitchen table can be good, but only if you have permission and the person you're giving the card to is not around. Dad? Dad? Perfect. Step four, fold your piece of paper in half. That makes it a card. Step five, decorate like crazy until it's awesome horrific. Be sure to write or have someone write for you the name of the person your card is for. Otherwise, how will they know? Step six, clean up. Step seven, you're done. Check out my awesome horrific card for my dad. Well, I had so much fun! I feel like I could make a lot more cards. But I don't know anyone else who has a birthday coming up. Hmm. Oh well, I'm gonna go give my dad his card while we check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Matthew chapter 5. When Jesus began to teach people about God, sometimes he would tell stories to give examples. He would start talking about one thing to explain another. One day, Jesus was teaching his followers how to make a difference in the world. So, he talked to them about salt. In Matthew 5, 13, Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. Seems like a pretty weird thing to talk about, right? 
until Jesus brought up what salt does. It gives flavor to food that doesn't taste very good or doesn't have that much taste to it at all. If you eat food without salt, you might say, ugh, yuck. But when you salt the food, you might say, yum, it tastes really good. When we go out and make a difference, we do the same for the world. Turn it from yuck to yum. Like when someone falls down and you help them back up, or when someone says something mean and you stick up for them, or say something nice to them. That's like sprinkling salt on something otherwise yucky. Jesus also taught that making a difference was like shining a light. In Matthew 5, 14, Jesus said, we are the light of the world. Jesus didn't mean that we all of a sudden glow in the dark. He meant that when we go out into the world doing what Jesus tells us to do, people will see what we do and learn more about God. Jesus talked about salt and light so everyone can know how to go out and change the world. You and I can do that too because Jesus taught us how to make a difference. That Bible story made me hungry for a salty snack, so I got popcorn. <laughs> this popcorn just wouldn't be the same without salt. And butter! Too bad Jesus didn't say we are the butter of the earth. Wait, did he? No! Jesus said we are all the salt and light! But not actually salt and light, but like salt and light! We can make a big difference when we do what God wants us to do! And so, my dad and I found a way that I could make a difference! When I gave my dad his birthday card, he loved it so, so much! I told him how much I loved him and how much fun I had making it! I told him how I wanted to make more. I told him I felt like I could make 50 cards, maybe 100 cards. He said that sounded like a great way to spend his birthday, making cards with his favorite daughter. And I said, Dad, I'm your only daughter. <laughs> but what will we do with all those cards? My dad said he could take them to the children's hospital and give them to kids who are sick. He said these cards would make them smile and brighten their day. I think that might be one way to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. What do you think? Callie, are you ready to get started? Yes, yes, yes! Be there in a second! Gotta go make some more awesome, horrific cards. I can't wait to see the faces of those kids at the hospital when we bring them their cards. I'm sure glad Jesus taught us how to make a difference!
did you guys like that story? Did you kind of understand what Jesus was talking about when he said we're supposed to be the salt and the light of the world? Well, salt adds tasty flavor to things. It makes food taste way better. I mean, imagine popcorn. Popcorn all by itself, it's still good. But when you add some tasty salt and butter, oh, that's like way better. And what Jesus was saying is when we're like salt, it means we help make people's lives better, the people around us. Now, here, let me give you an example. I have two cups of water here. Now, I'm gonna take a sip from the first cup. And now I'm gonna take a sip from the second cup. Well, which cup? I put salt in one of these cups. Which cup do you think had the salt in it? This one, you're right. How could you tell? By the way I reacted, right? Yeah, well when we love Jesus, people should be able to tell by how we act. You knew that cup had salt because I went bah, and you could tell right away. But when we love Jesus, people should be able to tell right away by how we treat them, how we love them, and how kind we are. Now when Jesus said, be the light of the world, well, what does light do? Light helps us see. Now I want you to think about this. Let's pretend you had to make a drawing. I'm gonna make a drawing, but for the first one, I'm gonna close my eyes so I can't see anything. Okay, here we go. Oh no, that doesn't look very good. That was supposed to be my house and me and my family. Hmm. Well, how about I try it again, but this time I'm gonna keep my eyes open. Here we go. Ta-da! Doesn't that one look way better? You can tell that I had my eyes open for this one, can't you? Well, when we have light on, it helps us see. And things happen way better when we can see what's happening. Things in the dark don't always go as planned. When Jesus said we should be the light of the world, that means we should help people see who Jesus is. We can do that by how we treat others. When we are kind, when we're loving, and we show them what Jesus is like, well, that's like turning on a big light and showing them what Jesus is like. We can be the salt by making people's lives better in how we treat them. And we can be the light by showing people what Jesus is like. Those are pretty exciting things, aren't they? I think so. Well, why don't we pray and ask God to help us be the salt and the light of the earth. Can you fold your hands and close your eyes with me? Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you that you love us so much and that we get to be the salt and the light of the earth. I pray that you would help us make people's lives better and that we would show them exactly who you are through our actions and our words. Help us remember that this week, in Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, thank you for hanging out with us. I have a challenge for you. I want you to try and think of a way that you could be the salt and light, meaning you could do something really nice for somebody around you this week. Okay, can you do that? Awesome. Well, we'll see you back here next week, either in person at one of our three campuses or back here online. I'll see you then. Bye. Hi friends, it's Miss Sarah and I'm so excited you're here to do the memory verse with me. Now, this is something Jesus said in John 13, verse 15. And he said this, you should do as I have done for you. John 13, verse 15. Can we do that one more time? I think so. Okay, so you should do as I have done for you. John 13, verse 15. Great job, friends. You're awesome.